So you have an analog pocket, and you have your games you've been playing on cartridges, and then you see that OpenFPGA is released, and you've installed the cores for the Game Boy Advance by Spiritualize, and you're like, well, I've been putting so many hours into this game. How do I keep playing that game now on my, my ROM? And so that I don't have to carry my $200 <laughs> games with me anymore, all right? Uh, toss them away, sell them on eBay, stick them on your shelves for collecting, whatever you do, it's up to you, it's a free country. Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, actually, it turns out to be very easy. So here I've got uh, Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. And here I have the core for Game Boy Advance uh, for OpenFPGA as released by Spiritualized um, on this card. I'm going to start her up. All right, and uh, we're just going to go and just we're just going to start the game, okay? And just give it a second to boot up. All right, now we are going to. I think actually, to be fair, I I tried this and uh, messed up something, so we're going to start over. So you can see we have no memories saved, okay? So we deleted that one. So we're back to the game. Now use the uh, analog button, which is that middle button in between uh, here at the bottom, and up. See how it said state saved. So we go back to the analog menu and look under memories, and you can see that we have a memory saved for Fire Emblem. Gives you the date and time and everything. So we're going to quit the cartridge. And this next step, I don't know if you really need to do this, but just makes it a little easier. So we're going to go into Open FPGA, uh, choose the Game Boy Advance Core. Uh, I am going to guess that the same mechanism works for um, any of the uh, uh, for uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy. I just haven't tested it out, but we're going to go to Run and choose the ROM for the game that we're playing, the same game that we have the cartridge for. Give this a second to boot up. Give us this beautiful, beautiful Game Boy Advance loading screen that we all love. And anytime now. Okay, we're on TV here. Oh, here we go. Game Boy. And I'm going to go ahead and just get into the game, right? Like I said, uh, I'm going to create a new game. And we're just going to go through a few steps here. Just make sure we're into the game because what it's going to do is create a save for us. And, uh, okay. So now, let's just quit. I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do. So, we're going to now go uh, to our computer with our SD card for step two. All right, see you in a second. We are back, and we have inserted the SD card that was in that analog pocket into uh, here is on my MacBook. But uh, as I've uh, explained in my previous videos, all of this should be the same whether you're in Windows or not. You're just drag and dropping, copying, pasting, opening files and whatnot, okay? So, uh, okay, should be pretty self explanatory. So, you're gonna be a folder for memories, right? Currently, there's this folder that's called beta. I don't know if this gets renamed if you're watching this at some point in time in the future uh, where. Um, you know, we're out of this, uh, I think this is a firmware 1.1 beta, okay? So I don't know why that's called beta, but just pointing this out if you're watching this in the future, look for the similar gist, okay? So now you can see that there are two files here. These are the two memories that we just, uh, um, uh, that we uh, created, is the one is .sab, okay? So that's a save file for Fire Emblem. Now we're going to go into this other folder, saves, and we're gonna look under uh, the, the the name of the core that you're using. So in this case, uh, we were using the GBA core, okay? That's the one that uh, we have uh, the GBA BIOS. See my other video for how to install a spiritualized uh, um, uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance uh, core. So saves, and now see how here there's a save that's uh, uh, saved, and this is the same name as the ROM that we are running, okay? So this is what you want to look for. And what you're going to do, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can, 
you can do all this within here. I'm going to do something where I just kind of drag and drop and copy, okay, just to, just to be really OCD. So we're going to go back to our memory that we saved from the actual cartridge that has the .sav at the end. Okay, we're going to make a copy of this, all right? And then we're going to go in here to our saves folder, right? <laughs> Not to be confusing with using, using the same words for a similar um, concept, but uh, this we're going to copy, all right? And uh, so that was the save that was created automatically when we went into that Fire Emblem game and just kind of started a game, and it just makes a, makes a first save. And we're just going to rename that memory to the same name uh, of the save file. And you can do this any number of different ways, but we're just going to then drag and drop this back to this folder and we're going to replace, okay? And so now we have moved uh, the memory over to the save folder and renamed it to match the name of the ROM that we were playing, okay? So now we will eject our SD card and we will go back to our analog pocket for step three. Now, back to the analog pocket and we have our SD card that we just uh, worked on. And to show that we're not doing some sleight of hand or anything, we're going to take the cartridge out that we're playing and we will put the SD card back into the analog pocket. Starter up and just to show, there's nothing in there to play, okay? Um, quick cartridge, okay. So we're going to go to Open FTPGA, Game Boy Advance Core. We're going to run the game that we uh, saved, or copied or saved for, and give it a minute to load up. Insert funny theme song here, and there we go. Game Boy Advance opening screen for your viewing pleasure. All right, so we're just going to get into our game, restart chapter, and you can see that all my saves have carried over. There you go. And uh, yeah, just to show that it actually plays, I guess. Here we go. So there you go. So um, uh, I've I've only tested this out for this one game. Um, I'm I mean I don't. Really understand how that could not work for other games, but also at the same time, it could have could understand uh, that uh, you know there could be some reason that it wouldn't wouldn't work for all games. Um, maybe uh, something for me to do. I've got a I've got a decent collection of Game Boy Advance games. I'll tr I'll try try some out. Of my entire collection, though, I have the only Game Boy game I have is Tetris, and I have no Game Boy Color games. Um, so I can't tell you that this works for Game Boy uh, games or Game Boy Color. Um, so uh, um, maybe I'll buy one just to test it out. Be another video, okay? So there you go. Have fun, guys.